Hardcore. Probably one of the most dangerous sports known to man. A sport pushing your body to the limits with your physical strength and mental toughness. When done well, you think that what they're doing is impossible. I mean, it just seems impossible. Jumping off a building and physically being unfazed? It's impossible, right? Well, let me brush off my 11th grade physics book to help you out. When you're doing parkour, you always have two things. A velocity, basically a really cool way to say your speed, and your total body mass. 582. Those things are always there while doing parkour because you can't do parkour motionless and everyone has a mass. And if you multiply your velocity times your mass, you'll get your momentum. And with your momentum, we can see how much force you hit the ground with using this formula. This formula is mainly used to figure out how to make car accidents have less force, but today we're using it for something more important, parkour. This formula is called the impulse momentum theory. Change in time multiplied by force equals change in momentum. Now just take a deep breath. I'm going to explain it as best as possible. I know when we started adding, you know, letters to formulas, it got a bit difficult. But now we're starting to add shapes. But just don't, don't freak out. Stay with me. I'll explain it as best as possible. The triangle T looking Greek thing is just a fancy way of saying change in time. Don't let that confuse you. It's just change in time. And if we're talking about this in parkour, it's not how long we're in the air, it's how long we take the force when we hit the ground. So it's not the, the time you're falling, it's the time when you hit the ground and when all the force has gone through your body. Let's say you bend your legs when you fall, and then you roll through your body just all over it, and that takes a lot more time. Um, you're just dragging out the force over a long period of time. You might be asking, why is this helping anything? Why is this good? Well, let's just move back to our formula for a second. Using simple algebra, we can move the t over to the other side. And to do that, we just have to divide it by both sides. On the left side, it cancels out. And on the right side, it dramatically decreases the change in momentum, which in turn dramatically decreases the force you hit the ground. Which in using this technique is how some people can jump off a building just fine without being hurt. This is how they make what they're doing look impossible, when it is very much so possible. It is physically possible. Heck, anyone could even do it. Yes, you watching, you could do this. But just remember, it's kind of the middle of the summer, it's my 11th grade physics, I learned this information during school, and we only covered it for one or two days, and I learned it online, so just, just do this at your own risk.